switch it to a second camera because I have to use my phone. Um, so I turn back on the system. Then I go to uh, the Bluetooth, connect to the Bluetooth on the switch. Now I connect to one, two, three, four to the fourth feature, um, and I pull the data through. So this fourth channel, what it gives is the actual the current of this guy, of the vacuum, not on the tool. So basically, it's this channel that I'm I'm reading over the air. So, and I'll focus on, on, on the hex value, which is right now it's F, so I'm turning, uh, I'm uh, pressing the drill. I'm triggering the, the device because I'm exceeding 10 amps uh, because of the search, so I will uh, reset my switch. Again, at this point, I don't want to run it unprotected because I have uh, a lot of uh, wires exposed. Uh, don't want anybody to get electrocuted by uh, sleeping and touching a wire. <laughs> so again, I am connecting uh, because I got disconnected because of the power uh, turning off. So one, two, three, four. I notify so I can get uh, notifications, so I get uh, readings, continuous readings. So I run my tool and I stop. You see it keeps on reading a value and now it's going to turn off the heat gun and it will go back to the minimal uh, uh, leak current. So again, let's try to do it. Again, I'm reading the heat gun, which is the vacuum, right? So I turn the, the drill on. Stop the drill. And then the, the heat gun uh, reading stops to a value of F, which is the, uh, the default value. So uh, the delay, uh, again, uh, between uh, this guy turning off and this guy turning uh, uh, off, it's programmable. So it could be anything. It could be uh, one second, two seconds. I know we have the, the user interface up to, uh, I believe, uh, always on in six seconds or 12 seconds or something like that. But in actuality, you can pick on your mobile app any numbers of seconds and it will just work fine. So uh, right now I'm not quite sure how many seconds I have but uh, uh, it doesn't matter because it's, uh, it's programmable. Uh, with your mobile app a user should be able to easily switch that value uh, and the way we will probably display is we will add. So we'll, instead of having one LED only on, we might have two LEDs on that combined they have uh, the value requested. So if you don't have, a let's say, an LED for six seconds, you might turn, uh, uh, you know, uh, rather if you don't have one for five seconds, you might turn it two and three LED or whatever that sequence of LEDs is to add up to something uh, that is the value that you have picked. Or we can have an LED so that it, this is a custom uh, delay. Again, this is the, you know, the delay between this goes uh, off, turning off, and this guy turn off, which this guy is actually the vacuum. Any delay is possible. Delayed start here, delayed start here, 
delayed off here, delayed off here, and any combination is possible. So the current arrangement uh, actually is capable of doing all that. Um, so we might have this functionality added in in the mobile app within reason for the admin function. But uh, all those are considerations. So in the next video, I will attempt to outline some uh, considerations, some design considerations uh, that uh, we are thinking of implementing down the road and some of the different uh, design directions will go that will make more sense uh, for both domestic and international users.